Okay, I'm out here with the Glue and Fly Series F22 Micro version 2 with uh, 3S LiPo in it. One thing I never do, at least I don't remember doing, is really demonstrating the slow flight characteristics of these aircraft that I design and build. And at least I attempt to build them so that they have a very wide flight envelope. So let's get this one in the air. That sun is terrible this morning. You can see how slowly you can fly this. I'm at about 35% throttle right now with this power setup that I have. That was a close end shot. Well, I think that's pretty decent slow flight capability, and of course you can you can fly this uh, park jet on a 2S LiPo as well. It's a lot more docile and you can fly it even more slowly on a 2S setup than you can on a 3S setup because it's so much lighter. But about 35% throttle. It's pretty stable at slow speed. Not too bad. Of course, you don't want a lot of wind when you're doing this. And these aren't exactly shallow turns that I'm making here either. Catching a little bit of wind now. Alright, so I hope that demonstrates kind of the slow flight capability of this little micro park jet. I'm pretty happy with that. And then, of course, you can really throttle it up. All right, we'll go one more circuit and then bring it in. But I think that's pretty decent slow flight capability on this little micro park jet. There we go. Not bad at all, and at full throttle, it's very speedy. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the air.